Hey there, everybody, and welcome to Batman the Telltale Series Season 2, The Enemy Within, with Dude Long Couch. Damn, guys, this game pretty much came out of nowhere. It only got announced about two or three weeks ago, and now here it is on my PlayStation 4, which is awesome. And so soon after the first game, too. I think the first game concluded in, like, December, and here we are about eight months later with a sequel. I think that means that the first game did pretty darn good, which makes me happy. I do have a complete walkthrough of the first game on my channel. If you haven't seen that, you should go get caught up. Other than that, this is the first episode of Season 2, and I'm not sure what to expect story-wise out of this. I don't know if there's going to be a time lapse or if it's like going to pick up right away, but all I know is I'm excited because you guys know I love me some Batman. Batmania continues. It will never end. It will be the largest playlist on all of YouTube. So I like to do these Telltale episodes all in one shot, guys, so let's not waste too much time here. Let's get started. X to begin. Connecting, checking for DLC. This game is DLC. Maybe not in the strictest definition of the term, but it is downloaded. Direct to disc. With a slow fade in. I think we're getting started right away here, guys. Okay, be first to access exclusive content. I do not care about this, so I am going to skip it. Pretty sure I did the same thing for the first season. <laughs> and we've got episodes, season passes, extras, and settings. Okay, let's just blow through these real quick, guys. Save files, controls. I mean, the controls are the controls. There's not much to do here. R2, fight actions, actions and dialogue choices. Move the reticule. Pretty standard stuff. Apparently we actually have an inventory in this game. Maybe they've expanded the gameplay a little bit in ways that I was not expecting. Audio and display, we can probably leave this stuff. Oh, we do want to turn subtitles on though. And subtitle size medium? I wish they would give me an example. I guess we'll leave it as medium and see how we like that. Languages. Okay. Auto update language. Allow the game to automatically keep your selected language up to date. Yes, keep English up to date, because it is constantly evolving. Under the gameplay section, invert Y? Nope. Display style standard? Standard shows all points of interest in the environment, whereas minimal hides them. Mmm, that's actually an interesting choice. Probably going to leave it as the default. In a game like this, I think that's probably going to be for the best. I don't care about accounts or crowd play. Crowd play is where you can actually have people like vote on the choices you make or something weird like that. I don't know. It never appealed to me, so I'm going to skip that too. And I think we are good to go with all that stuff. Okay. Episodes. Continue your story. So yeah, guys, this is the same PS4. I had my save file from the first game, so it's pretty cool. Apparently, some of that stuff will carry over. Uh, it says, Batman the Enemy Within can be started as a brand new story or as a continuation of the Season 1 choices you made. Obviously, we're going to do that, because that's cool. I hit X, and now it seems to have frozen. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Your story so far. Would you like to import a save or recreate a backstory? Uh, we're going to import. I didn't know this was going to be this complicated. This backstory will be tied to the current save file. Okay, excellent. And here we go, we've gotten here. Um, episode 1, The Enigma. So, okay, I guess the whole season is called The Enemy Within. Episode 1 is called The Enigma. One of Gotham's oldest and deadliest criminals has returned. Batman must work with allies old and new to stop this growing threat. Obviously, this is the Riddler, which could make for some really excellent puzzles in the style of Telltale's games. I actually am really excited for that. I hope there's some good stuff here. And adjust the slider so the bat symbol is barely visible. For me, that's right about there. Barely visible, but I actually I actually like to lock it up a little higher than that most of the time, so I'm going to put it right about there. And a bat tech color. Okay, this is making a return from the first game. I think these are all the same colors we had, too, and I believe I went with red. Not for any real particular reason, just because out of all the choices here, <laughs> I like red the most. I mean, purple, yellow, and blue are almost all more canonically appropriate in one way or another. But red is the de facto color of Batman Beyond, which is fucking awesome and doesn't get enough recognition or credit for the awesome things it did. So I'm going to stick with red. And just as a heads up, guys, I will probably be cutting out a lot of the load times in this game. They are pretty righteous. 
but I like to be upfront about that kind of stuff. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. One fateful night, my parents gave their lives for me. They became my heroes, their legacy untouchable. Until I learned the truth. My father, Thomas Wayne, was a criminal. He ruled over Gotham from the shadows. And everything I thought I knew about myself changed forever. The children of Arkham exposed the truth about my father to Gotham. Their attack turned friends into enemies and threw the city into chaos. I was committed to Arkham Asylum, where I escaped with the help of a mental patient named John Doe. Joker. After a bloody battle, I put an end to it all in the catacombs beneath the city. The Penguin, Two-Face, and Lady Arkham were the first real challenge I faced as the Batman, but they would not be the last. That was a pretty succinct recap. Spring has arrived in Gotham, and with it comes City Hall's quarterly crime report. Crime is way down since the fall of the children of Arkham, marking another triumph for newly minted police commissioner James Gordon. In a statement this morning, Gordon credited his success to the public partnership between the police and the Batman. He praised the mysterious vigilante for his sacrifice, describing him as essential to the security of the city. Things are looking up, citizens. After the long, dark winter <laughs> comes the thaw. Now, if only the Knights could win a game, everyone would be happy. The Virago at 11.42 p.m. Lucky 13! There it is. Rumi Mori, import-export magnet, one-time Pipex CEO. International arms dealer. The world sees Maury as a legitimate businessman. A philanthropist who gives to charity. Not a criminal getting rich off the suffering of innocence. A masterful performance. I wonder... If a man hides in plain sight for that long, does he forget who he really is? What do you think, Master Bruce? Must be hard to stay true to yourself. <laughs> Alright, throwing us in right away. I don't. I never forget what drives me. Protecting the innocent from people like Mori. That stays the same no matter what mask I wear. Don't I know? Masks are hard to maintain. If there are cracks in Mori's, we'll find them. The GCPD already bugged his penthouse and found nothing. Meaning that if he's doing arms deals in Gotham... They happen on the casino floor. I need to find a way to hear what Mori is saying. Standing by for support. Look for something with a microphone. Something with a microphone. The bat computer can intercept his communications. Okay, so that'd be the cell phone. L look at it from back here. Consumer model. Could be a good way to hear Maury's conversation. Nice. I just want to see what these other things will say if we look at them. Well, looks like Roulette is his Achilles heel. He has a reputation for being lucky, but then you don't need luck when you own the house. True story. He certainly enjoys the good life, doesn't he? Made a fortune running guns during the Arab Spring. Diversified into biotech shortly after. From what I understand, he is not one for pinching pennies. So I'm racking my brain, guys, and I can't really remember any mention of this dude from the comics or anything else. I know that the first game took a lot of liberties with the story, uh, mostly for the best in my opinion. I didn't get mad, I thought it was cool. And this guy might be an original character. Hotel security are guarding him particularly close. A man like Mori counts more enemies than friends. I wonder why that is. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Hack! Al, I'm hacking into Mori's phone. Encrypting your signal. Last thing we want is for him to know you're here. We're in. You should be able to pick up audio from Maury's phone. Is everyone enjoying themselves? Don't worry. I won't tell anyone with a badge. He's on a roll. <laughs> it's only a matter of time before he gets too chatty. <laughs> Try to blend in.
So, I've been sitting over there wondering, what's Bruce Wayne doing in a place like this? I figured you went to fancier casinos. <laughs> I'm undercover. Shh. Some place where only high rollers go. I'm looking for something different. New thrills. Well, it's a good thing you're here. And it's a good thing I'm here. You? What in the hell are you doing here? Uh-oh. Stop me if you've heard this one before. I begin and have no end. And I end all that begins. Who am I? I don't give a damn. I told you ten times. Our arrangement is over. Death, Maury. I am death. Something's happening, and it doesn't look like a deal. The man in the hood. I remember him from your father's time. I think that's Riddler. Is something wrong? You seem distracted. Bruce. You think your gibberish intimidates Hello? Not him. You'd better gear up. You can't just blow me off. How about we go back to my place? Oh. I'll call my driver. Meet me outside? Well, since you put it like that, I never do this, you know. <laughs> no, me neither. I'm not the only one who lied. <laughs> no one threatens me in my own casino. Security! Sir, it's time to leave. For you? An easy one. What question can you never answer yes to? I don't give a crap. Let's go. <sighs> Wrong. The correct answer is, are you dead? Oh! Now, let's get started. Get out of there. Get your suit. Right you are, Alfred. This version of the Riddler is not fucking around, guys. Al, let Gordon know what's happening. Right away. Hey, no one leaves. Oh. Easy peasy. Commissioner Gordon on the line, scrambling audio now. Gordon. Batman, what's the status? Multiple gunmen, hostages at the casino. A madman in a mask. Riddler's back in Gotham. Riddler? He hasn't been seen in years. Well, he's putting on quite a show. Oh, I love it, guys. A bad suit that has seen some shit. I wonder if this is the same Riddler. I mean, if he was around at my dad's time, he'd have to be kind of old by now, right? I don't know, guys. There's a squad on the way. They'll be there shortly. Be ready for a fight. I gotta tell you guys, I have a certain fondness for the early days of Batman, like when he's kind of at odds with the cops too, which is why I like Arkham Origins so much. But, you know, there's also something to be said for when Gordon and Batman are working together and, you know, stuff like this is going down. I hope we get to do some real cool tactical stuff. Please, please, we can make the deal. Anything you want. Our issues can't be solved with handshakes, Maury. This is what happens when you back out of a deal with me. Oh. There's only one way you're getting out of this alive. You have to solve a riddle. And I'd choose my words carefully if I were you. Listen closely. No, please, don't do this. Without fingers, I point. Without arms, I strike. 
Without feet, I run. Who am I? I've got visual. That drone fully functional. I'll need a place to drop in without being noticed. Time for some recon. It's a tricky one, isn't it? A mind bender that scratches at the very nature. Riddler. A terror from the past. I never thought I'd see him on our streets again. He's not to be taken lightly. Okay, so this is pretty similar to stuff we had in the first game where we just kind of like analyze the environments and uh, plan an attack. Riddler's taken hostages, casino patrons, innocent bystanders. Uh, they're clearly not his main target. Must be an insurance policy. Choose your words carefully, Maury. You only have so many fingers. It'll be that death chamber. Some kind of torture device. Doesn't seem like he's getting out until he guesses the riddle. This Riddler certainly has an imagination. Okay. What else do we need to look at? Armed gunman? I feel like I already got everything. I don't have a very large range of movement here, guys. Man, that dude got rocked. I don't get it. What else am I supposed to look at? I can't go back any further. Ah, there we go. Cashier's booth. That'll do. Just need to take out the guard first. Okay, you'd think I'd be able to use a bat drone to do that, right? Do I have a... okay. Oh, we're gonna distract him. Get him to go inside, okay. Audio playback fully functional. Time for a distraction. What the? <laughs> ho ho ho! Surprise, motherfucker. I'm losing patience, Maury. Are you expecting a hint? Give me an answer! Batman, we can't get in. The front covered by gunmen, and they've got the back barricaded with blackjack tables. How should I deploy when we're inside? I'm relying on your eyes and ears. What's the best course of action? Hmm. Uh, tear gas is gonna get everybody, but it's non-lethal. Oh shit, guys! If I make the wrong choice, people could die. You know what? It's it's not it's not lethal. We're gonna go with the tear gas. We need a distraction. Find a way to limit their line of sight. Sounds like a plan. You, you're completely insane. No, I don't believe that's it. Ah! Oh. I'll clear a path. Wait for my signal. Give him hell. We're counting on you. Bash or grapple? What the fuck? Uh, we're gonna bash him. <laughs> Slam into or tear off roulette wheel. Uh, roulette wheel. Batman. You're ahead of schedule. I'm a little busy right now, but I'll see if I can fit you in. Not him, the hostage. Shoot the hostage! Don't do that. Anchor the gun, anchor the hostage. The gun! Whoa. Hit all the targets in any order. Oh, okay. Uh. Clearly isn't using his head. Break it open. With pleasure. What you can do with a wrench. I'm Batman, motherfucker.
I am down to shock him. Shock him! Yeah, that guarantees he ain't getting up for a while. Oh, shit! I've heard stories in the streets about you, Batman. You're the biggest name in Gotham since... Well, since I left town. Everyone's very impressed with you. Oh. I'm not impressed. Gotham's criminals have become zealots and thugs in cheap suits. And you, I've come home to find a wannabe in my chair. Eating my goddamn porridge. This is my city. Now I'm back, and I'm taking what's mine. All you scum are the same. Only thing that changes is the mask. Spoken like a man who sees the world in black and white. Allow me to broaden your spectrum. You're supposedly the world's greatest detective. Yet here you are, completely at my mercy. I don't see much evidence of that. I expected more of a battle from Gordon, you, Batman. <laughs> Caught him monologuing. Oh, you have to be kidding. Clever, but not smart enough. Was done back in the day. Holy shit. Common street hurt. It just doesn't do it for me. Follow the power lines. There must be a weak point. Uh, must there? There it is. Oh, that was close. This ain't over yet, though. Get back here, bitch! Oh, yeah. Right in the back. Check this out. Oh, he's good! The cage. That's cheating! Think I care about your rules. I'd heard you were a man who followed a code. Why would you save that dirtbag's life? Maury made his money running guns. Trading off the suffering of war. Why wouldn't you just let him die? I believe in justice. Maury deserves a trial in a court of law. If he's guilty, his cell will be right next to yours. Justice? Ridiculous. Either way, you won't be the one to put me there. Roundhouse! Roundhouse! Yeah! Enough of this! You know how to scrap. I'll give you that. But it's not enough. Let's see how you do with something a little more cerebral. Better hurry, detective. Solve my puzzle soon. Or people are gonna get hurt. And we know you can't let that happen. Oh. 
<laughs> that was pretty cool, guys. You should have called us before going in, Gordon. Waller? After all, we're here to help. What? Amanda Waller, she's the lady who forms the Suicide Squad. All in a day's work, guys. That was a cool intro. It's a little weird having a Riddler who's, like, physically formidable, though. <laughs> I mean, he kind of went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Batman there and didn't do terrible. I mean, he got away. That's weird. Scan or take? Okay. Let's be a little smart about this. Circuitry inside, but nothing obviously dangerous. The back computer will be able to analyze further. Alrighty. The puzzle box is in our inventory, guys. Your days are numbered, Bat Freak. We'll see each other again. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Keep one eye on the sky, jerk-offs. Heavens are gonna fall on your goddamn heads. Tell me all about it down at the precinct. The Riddler's right hand in custody. Not a bad result, all told. Riddler used to leave clues at all his crime scenes. Always thought he was smarter than the people trying to catch him. Thought we could use help dragging him down. You got a sick pleasure out of taunting us. He was smart enough to slip through our fingers. Yeah, and leave a bloody mess in his wake. Riddler's heyday was a dark time in Gotham. And what we just saw, he hasn't mellowed with age. Uh-huh, get Fernandez on it right away. Commissioner Gordon. Brace yourself. Just so you know, this woman has a lot of juice with the governor. Rub her the wrong way. I could end up on foot patrol till I retire. My people are trained for situations like this, Gordon. We'd have Riddler in custody if you'd only picked up the phone. So, you're the legendary Batman. I've heard a great deal about you. So much so, I don't know if I should believe the hype. I haven't had the pleasure of an introduction, Miss... A pleasure, huh? Most people don't usually call it that. This is Amanda Waller director of the agency. What are the feds doing here? Riddler's their case. The GCPD has been asked to open our doors to them. Give them whatever they need. We've been tracking that maniac for some time. No one knows more about him than we do. World-class criminals like Riddler, they're kind of our specialty. Sounds like the expertise we need. Keep that attitude and we'll get along just fine. We are not always welcomed with open arms. Riddler used to be a player in Gotham back when Thomas Wayne and Falcone ran the city. He disappeared so suddenly and for so long, everyone thought he was dead. <laughs> everyone was wrong. Riddler's back, and if these theatrics are anything to go by, he wants the whole city to know. My people tell me you did some good work handling him, Batman. You and me? I bet we'd make a damn fine team. I heard how you dealt with Lady Arkham. Not to mention that filth, Oswald Cobblepot. We could do great things together if we joined forces. Seems that way to me. We should work together to bring Riddler in. Don't be too hasty, Batman. The Agency has a rep for being ruthless. The only real problem with your setup is who you're working with. Local law enforcement clearly can't cut I got a local crime rate says otherwise. <laughs> Ms. Waller... Please, Commissioner. Tear gas. In a hostage situation, we got an ambulance full of civilians with their eyes swollen shut. They're fine. Not to mention you let Riddler slip through your fingers. You GCPD cowboys clearly don't know what you're doing. You're putting all this on me? You're the commanding officer, aren't you? Or are those stars purely for show? You can't put this on Jim. I called for a distraction. Then maybe you're not as impressive 
as I thought. I'm here to prevent this incompetence in the future. Hmm. It's gonna be like that, huh? I gotta get a security detail on Mori while he's in the hospital. Agent Avesta will fill you in on what we know so far. As a token of interdepartmental cooperation. The nerve on her. Don't tell these people a thing, especially about that puzzle. This is our town. We're the ones that'll catch Riddler. Okay, Jim. Ooh, I thought she was gonna bite your head off for a second. Uh, I'd like to see her try. <laughs> Special Agent Imana Vesta, Field Intelligence Specialist on the Riddler case. And my partner, Agent Blake. How do you do? I put together this psychological profile of Riddler. You'll see when you read it. He's... changed. For your eyes only, <laughs> if you catch my drift. The target of the casino attack, Rumi Mori. Any idea what Riddler wanted with him? We figure it has something to do with why he's back in Gotham. Hmm. He's a madman. You can't look for reason in someone so clearly deranged. Riddler does show signs of an obsessive compulsive disorder, but he's calculating, fiercely intelligent. I'd be surprised if this wasn't part of a bigger plan. Let me know if you think of anything. It'd be a help. <clears throat> I'm Gotham born and raised, you know. My dad ran a store in the shadow of City Stadium. I just wanted to say it's a real honor to meet you. I do have something I want to ask, though. The criminally insane. You're drawn to them, aren't you? There's something in you that pulls you towards the danger. The chaos, the energy. You can't keep away, can you? Of course I am. They're an obvious target. Just like anyone who threatens Gotham's safety. Obvious for you? Most people just run the other way. I'm not most people. I think I know you a little better now. I have no idea if I did good or bad there. I'll be in touch. Agent. Batman, before you go, Gotham's your city. I respect that. But you should know I don't have to play nice. I'm letting you hunt the Riddler for now. You better share everything you find. Or this courtesy call is going to become something you really won't like. You get me? There's a lot of ways this could go. I don't take kindly to threats, Waller. Episode 1, guys. The Enigma. Man, the dialogue in this game is as tricky as ever. I was trying to be cool to Waller because Gordon asked me to. I'm trying to help out my boy, you know? But I don't really know if I actually want to work with her. I'm not a big fan of the Suicide Squad. And honestly, she seems like kind of a bitch. So this is going to get real tricky. What's up, Alfie? What an eventful evening. I've taken the liberty of preparing some refreshments. Uh, thanks, Al. I need to focus. Maybe music will help. And I couldn't afford a boombox. Classical, ambience, or jazz? Hmm. Feeling like a classical kind of morning, guys. Can't go wrong with the classics. The computer is finished scanning the Riddler's puzzle box. It's ready when you are. Let's get to work. All right, right at home in the Batcave, guys. I think we have a little bit more freedom than we did last time. I'm really liking the design of the suit in this game. It's similar to the first season, but it's new and improved. I think I sense a little bit of the Dark Knight influence in the way it looks. That's a different suit right there, though. That looks like it's better. 
There's like some armor going on in there. Lucius's latest model never ceases to impress. My suit always takes a lot of damage, but still does what it's supposed to do. Hide my identity, intimidate criminals, and keep me alive. Lucius gave me this upgraded model after my battle with Lady Arkham last year. The new suit has improved armaments, shielding, and scanning technology. Pretty badass. Why aren't I wearing that one, then? Anchor. I can't be everywhere at once, but this design makes it easy to take care of business from across the room, whether that business is uh, resting weapons away from criminals or stopping something heavy from falling on bystanders. Grapple gun. This gun allows me essential freedom of movement around the city, whether that's from building to building or straight up from a crowd of enemies. Batarangs. A few of these can clear out a room full of gunmen. Heavy, sleek, and extremely sharp. Military grade titanium. Damn. Smoke grenades. These grenades create a smoke screen that confuses enemies and allows me to hide, striking from the shadows. Stunner. This device can stop a criminal cold with a powerful electric shock. It's flashy and unsubtle, but it's guaranteed to, to incapacitate a target no matter their size. Yeah, I thought the drone was going to be firing these things at the dude that I had targeted with it, but instead it just made noise. <laughs> I thought I was going to be pulling some splinter cell shit, guys. That's not how it works. Okay. Wait a second. Oh, that was the previous model. Batsuit was damaged in fights against the children of Arkham and Harvey Dent's paramilitary troops. Lucius has since given me an even better version of the suit. I hold on to this one to remind me to never let my guard down in battle. Good reminder. Okay, I think we've got everything there. I'm going to be terrified that I'm going to be missing stuff. I want to look at everything in this Batcave, guys. Although, I am a little pissed off. I seem to recall in the first season... My Batmobile had, like, some red trim all over it. And then this one, it doesn't have that. Unless maybe it's gonna, like, transform into something better later. Right now, it's just kind of... Standard black. Ah, Selena. She'll turn up again. I'm looking forward to it. I bet you are. Selena Kyle came to Gotham to perform a number of robberies for the children of Arkham, though she eventually helped me stop them. She left Gotham during Lady Arkham's final assault on the city, and I don't know whether she'll ever return. Despite our differences, I enjoyed sparring with her. That's what you call it, sparring? <laughs> Harvey Dent was once a promising mayoral candidate and one of my closest friends. I supported his campaign and his vision for Gotham. After he was attacked by the children of Arkham, he became Two-Face, a violent and deeply paranoid criminal. During his brief stint as mayor, he used his authority to enforce martial law throughout the city. Yeah, that was a messed up time. Oswald Cobblepot was a terrorist, anarchist, and my oldest friend. Born to one of Gotham's most prestigious families, he lives abroad after his mother was committed to Arkham Asylum by my father. He returned to Gotham to join the children of Arkham, seeking revenge on my family for destroying his. And Vicki Vale. Vicki Vale was a well-known and respected reporter at the Gotham Gazette, but she was born Vicki Arkham, a victim of my father's criminal activities. She created her alter ego, Lady Arkham, and her terrorist organization, the Children of Arkham, to destroy Gotham's elite. I defeated her, but I don't know if she's alive or dead. Her body was never found. And in a comic book world, that means she's alive. <laughs> you guys notice that a chunk of my ear is missing? That happened in the first game. I actually don't remember exactly how. But hey, they're being consistent. Continuity, guys. I like it. No explosives detected, no radioactivity. Nothing dangerous at all so far. Computer, run another scan. I want to be absolutely sure this thing is safe. Also, I took the liberty of digging up everything I could find on the agency. There's plenty here. Know your enemy and all that. Alfie, what's wrong? It... it comes and goes. Ever since the kidnapping and, and all the other business with Lady Arkham. Alfred. <clears throat> no, no, don't you worry about me. I, I, I should be fine. It was worse after my first tour of duty. PTSD. Your family, Alfred. We worry about family. Thank you, Bruce. It, it'll pass. Working always helps. Oh, poor Alfie.
Okay, guys, in here, it looks like we've got Gotham Feed, Agency Files, Riddler Files, and a Codex. This could be a lot to go through. Let's strap in and check it out. Gotham Citizens Support GCPD Batman Partnership by Julia Martins. Despite some heavy criticism from elected officials, the Gotham City Police Department's public partnership with the mass vigilante known as Batman has been a rousing success with the city's population. Across the board, crime in the Gotham City limits has been down from the previous year with violent crimes hitting a record low. Though some on the city council have raised concerns about Batman's hidden identity and his operation outside the restrictions of the law, it doesn't appear to be hurting public opinion. I don't care who he is, I care that he makes things safer, said grocery store owner Wayne Barton, whose business has seen a 50% spike in sales after dark in recent months. <laughs> council member Gail Rich is sympathetic to business owners like Barton, but she maintains, until we know who this Batman is, I don't think we can ever be truly safe. Yeah, that's a fair point. Wayne Enterprises stock hits record high by Mark Phillips. Wayne Enterprises stock hit a record high of $120 per share today during afternoon trading, surpassing its previous high of $115 per share over a year ago. The record high is the latest event in the company's recent hot streak since Bruce Wayne returned to the company as CEO last year following his brief ouster. That's right, when Cobblepot took over. What a dick. Wayne was removed from the CEO position last year and replaced with Oswald Cobblepot in a move that resulted in Wayne publicly assaulting Cobblepot and being briefly admitted to Arkham Asylum. Wayne has since claimed the assault was a side effect of a drug injection at the hands of former Gazette reporter Vicki Vale, who conducted criminal business under the name Lady Arkham. That's not true, I chose to do that. Fuck that guy. Dent Trial Date Pushed Back Again by Kate Clark a federal judge has delayed the start of former Gotham Mayor Harvey Dent's criminal trial by several more months, following the departure of the defendant's entire legal team. <laughs> the team, led by attorney Brandon Hoffman, announced they were uh, recusing themselves in a pretrial hearing on Monday morning. Instead, Dent, who previously served as Gotham's district attorney, has insisted on representing himself in the trial. That's gonna go great. In a statement in court, Hoffman said, I no longer feel I can defend Mr. Dent to the best of my ability. Judge Harriet Strokes then moved to the to delay the trial for two more months while Dent prepared his case. This is the fourth delay to the trial and the third set of attorneys to part ways with Dent, who is facing multiple charges of murder, criminal negligence, and fraud. Gazette Investigation, What is the Agency? by Julia Martins. It seems Batman is no longer the most mysterious crime fighter on the streets of Gotham City these days. Multiple sources from law enforcement have confirmed with the Gazette that a mysterious governmental entity known only as the Agency has been conducting operations in the city recently. That's got to be the Suicide Squad, right guys? On the record, there is no evidence of any federal crime-fighting organization by this name, but many sources who have requested anonymity have confirmed that the agency has been present at several recent crime scenes and exerted considerable authority. I have no idea who these people are, but when they show up, they're in charge, one officer said. They act like they know what they're doing, but with no way to check their track record, I guess we have to take them at their word. Okay. Officials say Cobblepot is a model prisoner by Julia Martins. In stark contrast with the ongoing saga of Harvey Dent's legal battle, former Wayne Enterprises CEO and convicted domestic terrorist Oswald Cobblepot is a model prisoner at Blackgate Prison. The man who briefly aligned himself with the terrorist organization Children of Arkham pleaded guilty to all charges against him earlier this year. He was sentenced to 40 years to be served in Blackgate. Observers and legal experts were surprised at Cobblepot's decision to forego a hearing in court, but from all accounts he appears to be enjoying his new life in jail. We don't have a bad thing to say about him, said one black eight guard who wished to remain anonymous. You get to talking to him and he's actually pretty charming. He's super smart. That's because he's a sociopath and he knows how to manipulate people. So that's the, the latest in Gotham news, guys. Here we've got agency files, Riddler files, and a codex. I'm gonna pop over to the codex first. Oh boy, codex entries. Looks like we've got entries on a lot of different people, okay. James Gordon, over the past year, my partnership with Jim has flourished. I finally won his trust, and Gotham City is a better place for it. Batman used to be hidden in the shadows, but Jim has helped me step into the light and find legitimacy. For that, I am grateful. I think Jim is finally settling into his new role as police commissioner. It's been a difficult transition, and I don't think he'll ever be comfortable with the tragic way he received his promotion. But I trust he'll use his newfound authority to make, the city, to make this city a better place. Gotham is lucky to have him, and so am I. I couldn't ask for a better partner. Wow. High praise. <laughs> Renee Montoya. Things are looking up for Jim Gordon's favorite true blue cop. Renee Montoya was recently promoted to detective after she was exonerated of the murder of Carmine Falcone. It was evidence I provided that proved she was under the influence of Lady Arkham's drug when she committed the crime. I remember that. I admire Renee's dedication to law enforcement and fierce loyalty to Jim. It's evident that she lives for her work, often at the cost of her personal life. Sounds like a problem we both share. <laughs> 
Lucius. There would be no Batman without Lucius Fox. In a sense, he's built me. From bat suit to Batmobile, everything I am, everything I've become, I owe to him. A brilliant engineer and trusted confidant, Lucius is one of the few people I can depend on in this world. In addition to being Wayne Enterprise's technological leader, I've entrusted him to run a secret R&D wing where he designs and develops new bat tech. I bet you he's going to have some sweet new stuff for us in this game, guys. Alfie, I am not my father's son. I am Alfred's. Aww, oh, those heartstrings, though. After my mother, uh, after my mother and father were murdered, he was the one who did the hard work of raising me. It couldn't have been easy for him, making sure he instilled the right values and steered me away from the vices of my father. Steadfast, true, and compassionate, Alfred knows me better than anybody. Certainly better than I know myself. He's my moral compass and my best friend. Last year, he was kidnapped by Lady Arkham. I'm still riddled with guilt over what happened. I just hope he can recover from the emotional trauma of the ordeal. Something tells me he's going to be just fine. He's strong. And we will help him. Iman Avesta. It was Special Agent Iman Avesta who handed me the psychological profile on Riddler. I don't know much about her other than that she's a Gotham native and seems to have the confidence of Amanda Waller. She's also a huge fan of Batman, which is somewhat relieving. Maybe I can use that to my advantage in further dealings with the agency. Yeah, I think she might have some ulterior motives though. I'm not sure about her yet. Amanda Waller. I got my first glimpse at Amanda Waller outside the casino after Riddler's grisly attack on Rumi Mori, a former congressional aide and political science PhD. Waller's irresponsible, irrepressible ambition has shot her straight to the top of the government's top covert law enforcement organization, the agency. She's recently been promoted to regional director with a jurisdiction that spans the entire northeastern United States, including Gotham City. Gordon doesn't like her. That much is clear. Understandable. She's a force of nature who's threatening his turf. I just wish I knew more about her intentions towards Gotham. She seems like she could be a powerful friend, but an even more powerful enemy. Vernon Blake, Special Agent Blake, Avesta's terse partner. I met him as Batman after Riddler's attack on the casino. Not much to say about him at the moment. Yeah, he didn't really do much. The Riddler. The Riddler is an old name in Gotham, one we thought was gone for good. He was dangerous enough that even Carmine Falcone, Mayor Hill, and my father left him alone. An international terrorist wanted by Interpol and hunted by the agency, the Riddler's modus operandi is to torture and kill his marks by forcing them to solve his macabre riddles. According to the agency's profile on him, Riddler's got a genius, a genius level IQ and exhibits signs of narcissistic and obsessive compulsive personality disorders. He's cruel, calculating, and merciless, and I will bring him down. Bet your ass. Rumi Mori. There are two sides to Rumi Mori. The face he shows to the public and the person he really are. The person he really are? Okay. The person he keeps in the shadows, hidden from the prying eyes of polite society. Mori wants everyone to believe he's a model citizen. He paints his public persona with philanthropy and a seemingly legitimate business empire. But take a closer look behind the mask and you'll catch a glimpse of the real Rumi Mori. War profiteer and murderer. He made his fortune running guns during the Arab Spring and soon after diversified into high-tech weaponry. Of course, Mori's illicit activities have never been proven in the court of law. So he's kind of like the new Carmine Falcone in a way. <laughs> Riddler had some bone to pick with Mori. Perhaps that's why he targeted him at the Virago. It's not surprising a man like that would have enemies. I wonder how he made one of the Riddler. The Agency. One of the nation's most clandestine national security organizations. The Agency operates in the darkest shadows of the criminal justice system. Not much is known about their day-to-day -day operations, but what little information I can dig up about them is that the Agency's influence is awe-inspiring, stretching across international borders and reaching the highest echelons of political power. Thomas Wayne, my father and possibly the worst criminal this city has ever known. Thomas Wayne, I once thought he was a hero, a man who died trying to protect my mother and I from the bullet of a common crook. I was wrong. I found out the truth about my father not long ago. He wasn't the philanth philanthropic doctor he pretended to be. He was a monster who amassed our family's wealth by drugging and gaslighting Gotham's wealthiest families and robbing them of their fortunes. He devastated lives and destroyed minds. To rob someone of their sanity is one of the worst things you can do to a person. I would know. Lady Arkham robbed me of mine as recompense for my father's sins. I hope that debt is paid. I want nothing more than to leave his dark legacy in the past. That is one of the biggest liberties they took in the first season, but it was a pretty cool twist on the traditional story, I gotta say. And then Martha Wayne, my mother the mystery. I witnessed her and my father's assassination when I was just a child, so my memories of her uh, are few and far between, but I cherish each one. A couple typos in these... Uh, 
codex entries, but <laughs> not a big deal. It's unclear what she knew or how involved she was with my father's crimes, but there's a part of me who wants to believe the best about her. Maybe she was left in the dark. Maybe she tried to stop him. I just don't know. I need to believe that there's a part of me that is good, and that part is my mother. Maybe we'll learn more about her in Season 2, guys. Gotham City. Population 10.5 million. Gotham City is more than my hometown. It's my passion project. When I look out onto the skyline, I don't see a city. I see a living, breathing organism that keeps evolving, adapting to new threats. I must adapt with it. The criminals this place attracts are no different. There was a time when all you had to worry about was wise guys and street thugs, but crime too has evolved. The crime rate might be down, but the villains are becoming more and more bizarre, more terrifying. Sometimes I think crime is a virus that keeps mutating into more virulent strains and the city is sick with it. I'll let Batman be the cure. That's a good line. Arkham Asylum. Established November 1921. Gotham City's only maximum security psychiatric hospital. I was committed here for a couple of days after I was drugged by Lady Arkham and was incited to attack Oswald Cobblepot. So this place doesn't exactly hold the best memories for me. That's one of the reasons I'm renovating it. Once outdated and dilapidated, Wayne Enterprises had promised to bring this antiquated asylum into the 21st century by turning it into a state-of-the-art mental health facility. Good luck with that. Wayne Enterprises, established 1870, a multinational corporation founded by my ancestors, covering all manner of technology, manufacturing, and finance. I inherited a majority stake from my parents and have recently become more involved in its day-to-day -day operations. So far, so good. Stocks are up and Wayne Enterprises' R&D department is developing some pretty exciting new technologies. <laughs> like maybe a bat wing that I can fly around the city in? Crime Alley in Park Row, Gotham City. Hey, that's consistent with the Arkham games. Park Row was where Crime Alley was in those games, I believe. Uh, the squalid downtown alley where my parents were assassinated, the street across from the Monarch Theater is the place my childhood ended and the rest of my life began. Violently. I installed a plaque there to honor my parents before I knew the truth of my father's criminality. <laughs> now I'm gonna go tear it down, because fuck them. Gotham City Police Department HQ. The GCPD is Gotham's first line of defense against criminals both mundane and bizarre. When mobster Carmine Falcone was in power, he kept at least half the force in his pocket, but not all of them. James Gordon was one of few he couldn't corrupt. Since Falcone and Mayor Hill were taken down, Gordon has worked to clean up the corruption in the department. Crime rates have fallen dramatically since Gordon took over as police commissioner. Since Wayne Enterprises pledged to rebuild Arkham Asylum, the GCPD has worked closely with the facility to determine which criminals should go to Arkham for rehabilitation and which belong in Blackgate Prison. Yeah, it's a tough call. I don't envy the people who have to make those kinds of distinctions. <laughs> okay. I guess that was everything? Yeah, we got all the people and all the places. Okay, very good. That was a lot. Let's go to agency files. The agency. The public face of a shadow committee of military leaders, intelligence experts, and government officials. Civil rights violations, domestic black sites, decentralized accountability. This information, it's all before Waller took over the director position. Perhaps she's given them a new direction. Maybe, but the agency's empowered to override local law enforcement with impunity. Oh, Batman's got some competition in town. I wonder if we need be worried about losing our unpaid and thoroughly exhausting job, I mean. Well, things won't be easy with a bunch of spies nearby. They're well-equipped spies, too. Maybe it wouldn't hurt to talk to Lucius about upgrades. Try and level the playing field. Yeah, you're probably right, Alfie. I'm not sure about that whole thing yet, guys. I guess it sounds like they're not really doing the Suicide Squad yet. It sounds like they're more just regular people that are, like, highly trained and, like, you know, have a license to kill. <laughs> like a super SWAT squad or something. I don't know, guys. Okay, Riddler files. Yes. Riddler terrorized this city long before you were Batman. Gotham's original costumed criminal. Yes. To have him returned, it's unsettling. I remember when he was the scourge of the underworld. Even Carmine Falcone gave him a wide berth. He was presumed dead for so long. Why come back to Gotham? Well, he seemed to have a prior relationship with Mori. Some kind of axe to grind. Let me upload the rest of this to the Codex. The agency realized Riddler was still alive when he orchestrated a prison break at Peña Duro. 
My men here say you let yourself get caught, Mr. Riddler. Just Riddler. Why willingly turn yourself in? Oh, Mr. Warden, to get everyone else out, of course. That wasn't obvious. The man's deranged. Do you ask me? He needs help. He's clearly sick. The man is in urgent need of a doctor. I know just the place for him. Plenty of room at Arkham Asylum. Next to him, most of the inmates seem like a picture of health. What was that? You should see your face. Its confusion is delightful. I think I'll take it with me. <laughs> Jesus. I take everything back. Yeah, so do we not know the Riddler's real name? Do we not know that his name is Edward Nigma? Because nobody's calling him by that. Oh, did this stuff get updated? No. That's the last one we read. I just don't know why they're in white and the middle two are kind of grayed out now. They didn't add anything new. Oh, whatever. Maybe because they'll get updated later? Let's see what Riddler's little gift is all about. Solve my puzzle soon, or people will get hurt. Uh, Riddler's M.O. hasn't changed in all these years. Okay, I guess we're finally gonna open this thing up, guys. I really hope that there's some really awesome, like, brain teasers in this game, being the Riddler and all. But it's tricky. They gotta be careful with it to, like, not make it too hard, and, you know, they risk making the player feel like a dumbass. So let's see if they can strike that balance. Whoa. Hold X and drag with L. Okay. There's writing engraved along the rim. I have an eye, yet cannot see. Who am I? A tornado. That sounds familiar. I've heard it before. Don't happen to remember the answer, do you? Sadly, no. Or is it a hurricane? It's either... Uh, yeah, I have a hurricane. <laughs> Blind justice, I have a needle, a one-eyed jack. Actually, all those are somewhat decent answers. I'm gonna go with Hurricane, though. That was my original gut feeling. The eye of a hurricane. It fits the description in the riddle, but I'm not sure how it helps us. Even if there were hurricanes in Gotham, it's hard to imagine one helping us with the object in question. If that is indeed the key. Fine, Justice. Oh, we're gonna go through all the options. Okay. Justice. How it relates to Batman, maybe. Lady Justice is blindfolded to show she's impartial. She has two eyes under the blindfold, though. Not one. So it's something else. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm not actually sure what a one-eyed Jack is. I kind of want to hear what they say about that. He gave this to me at a casino. Card games. Maybe a Jack. Specifically a one-eyed Jack. But he's on the card twice, showing both eyes. Besides, he can still see. So it's probably not that. The eye of a needle. But how does that relate to the object in question? Maybe it's telling us how to use it. Ah, sounds very plausible. Look at these strange grooves. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I can see how that goes. We use a needle to interact with the board somehow. We got movie tickets here. The movie tickets from the night my parents died. Never forget. Yeah, it's not some shit you just forget there, Bruce. <laughs> I guess we could sit back down at the back computer, but I don't really see any need to do that. I'm just going to do a quick zoom around here to see if anything lights up. 
Can I come over here and, like, summon the Batmobile? Oh, shit, I can! <laughs> I didn't expect that to work, guys. <laughs> oh, that's the stuff. <laughs> oh, I'm just happy that worked. That was cool. Okay. Let's go back up here and talk to Alfred. Oh, also, actually, before I do that... Inventory. I'm hitting the D-pad, and it's not letting me cycle through my inventory. I guess we took the box out of my inventory. Okay. Uh, your guess is as good as mine. That's all Alfred has for us. Okay. We gotta find a needle? Where are we gonna find a needle, guys? We've got all kinds of crazy shit down here, but... Something as simple as a needle? Oh, could we use one of the things we have on display here? Oswald Cobblepot. The penguin. My oldest friend. I don't think we can actually interact with that stuff. Oh, the record player. Yeah. Needle. A record needle. Oh, we're actually going to play it. No shit. Halfway there, Batman. Means you've got half a chance of stopping a whole lot of pain. To be honest, you're already doing better than I thought. But don't sit around feeling pleased with yourself. Unless you want to see me tear this city apart. I suppose you're going to look in there. An open invitation from the Riddler? Of course. Huh. Looks like I'm manipulating radio bands or waveforms, something. I'm not sure what I'm looking at or how any of it is actually displaying. And that sound? What? Oh, uh... I'm not really sure about any of it. Get Lucius on the line, will you? I don't even get to try? <laughs> hey, Alfred. Good morning, Lucius. I hope we're not interrupting your breakfast. My youngest is probably stealing all the bacon, but duty calls. What's up? This is a puzzle from the Riddler. There's a strange waveform pattern I can manipulate inside that needs your expertise. I, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, I can meet you at Wayne Tower in a little bit. We'll, uh, fire up the R&D lab. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important, Lucius. No, no, don't worry about it. It's actually gonna be a big day for me. Tiffany starts at Wayne Enterprises. Tiffany? Really? Your daughter working alongside you. How wonderful. Uh, certainly is. Bruce, I'll see you soon. Bye, Lucius. Can't wait to see Tiffany. Cool. Access the back of here at any time by entering the back cave from I'll the be Wayne Tower. Good hunting, Bruce. Okay. Yeah, it just transformed into a red sports car. <laughs> That's cool. New game in town. Hmm. Excellent. I'm glad I caught you. I have some good news to share. Good to hear it, Regina. It's what I've come to expect, with you as Wayne Enterprises chairperson. I just talked to the board, and our stock price has doubled since you took the company back from Oswald Cobblepot. The Gazette's running a piece about it. Look, I would love to hear all the details, but I've got a meeting with Lucius I've got to run to. Well, I don't mean to pry, but what's in that case? Seems like an odd thing to be carrying around the office. Uh, it's porno. Don't worry about it. Oh, this? No. This is just something for Lucius. I see. Well, I've got a meeting I've got to run to. We'll pick up this conversation this afternoon. Sounds great. What kind of shit was that? Why is a briefcase an odd thing to be carrying around a freaking office? That's not weird at all. That didn't make any sense. 
You're in my chair. Just updating the encryption on your bat tech. But if you want me to stop... No, the seat is all yours. This is the thing you were talking about? One of Riddler's puzzles. Some kind of test. Show me. Huh. Any idea what he's planning? Not yet. That's why I need your help. If his history is anything to go by, he left us a clue. A psychological profile of Riddler. Uh, knowing how his mind works, this should come in handy. No sign of explosives or poison. Already scanned for that in the cave. Look at that. Micropulse waveform. Ah, and the sound it's giving off. A signal, maybe? <laughs> I couldn't decipher it. I was hoping you could help with that. I'll see what I can do. Look out! Shouldn't take long. What the? What in the... It's not one of mine. Think fast. Tiffany? <laughs> hey, Bruce. T my God, Tiffany. It's been a while. Sneaking out of orientation your first day? I just wanted to say hi to my new boss. I got you a present. A micro drone prototype I developed in my spare time. High-end AV, stealth black shell, programmable for autonomous observation. Small, quiet, and super smart. Just like its designer. Not bad, huh? You always had a thing for toys. So hard to know what to get a man who has everything. So I made you some tech the government would be jealous of. Someone here wants a raise. <laughs> She's already gunning for my job, Bruce. Can you believe it? <laughs> the hours you work, not a chance. I actually have a life. <laughs> huh, there's something different about you. Uh, there is? And I don't just mean what happened to your ear. I can't quite put my finger on it. But you look... You look... You look... <laughs> well, please just don't say old. Well, now that you mention it. Hey, play what? nice. Bruce has had a rough year. It's a hell of a way to talk to your CEO. Interesting. Don't. Too late. Already touching. Just... Be careful. What a strange thing. The circuitry design. It's elaborate and unorthodox. Almost intentionally so. Like whoever put it together was kind of showing off. Huh. Micro pulse waves? It's just weird. Seriously, what is this thing? I've never seen anything like it. It's like whoever made it. Hmm. She'll know if we lie. It's pretty cool, huh? I don't know if cool would be the word I would use. I can hear it hum. What does it do? That's what we're trying to work out. You guys are lucky I'm here to help. Uh, help with... Figure this freakish thing out. Uh, Tiffany did graduate first in her class at Cornell in molecular engineering. Let me take a crack at it. I can help you get to the bottom of this. Figure out what it does. Lucius, you're fired. Tiffany, you're hired. All right, if you think you can help, then be my guest. Oh, I know I can help. I just gotta let him know that I won't be finishing up orientation. Uh, no problem. Oh, I was planning on swinging by the manor after work to see Alfred. I heard he wasn't doing so well. That he was having some issues with his health? Hmm, she's kind of a sweetheart, huh, guys? He would love that. I hope he isn't still angry with me and Luke about that incident with the China. Well, you know, Al, no one messes with his dinnerware. Catch you guys later. Welcome aboard, Tiffany. Thanks, boss. Damn, guys, I was gonna say... All right, then. Time to crack this puzzle. 
I hope I didn't jump into that. I never told her, you know. Told her what I really do at Wayne Enterprises. What uh, we do. If you're willing to pull her into this Riddler project, why not consider bringing her into the fold? Into the mission? We're going to need help if we're going to be dealing with the likes of Riddler. And we can trust her. She's family, after all. Well, if she's anything like you... She's better than me. Okay. Then let's give her a shot. Great. I'll start thinking about how we can broach the subject with her. In the meantime, Riddler's puzzle will be a fine start. Well, shall we go down to the lab? Actually, the equipment we need is down in my office. We'll get this taken care of in no time. Mr. Wayne. Uh, yes? I'm Special Agent Avesta. This is my partner, Special Agent Blake. Uh-oh. Uh, well, I guess I'll see you in a bit. I'll be down in my office. Whenever you, uh, get done here? I'll be down in a few. No worries. I'll, uh, start without you. Sorry for the unannounced visit. We're with the agency's behavioral analysis unit. We just came by to ask a few questions. Uh, we better be nice to him, guys. I don't like it, but we have to. Please, come in. Make yourselves at home. Uh, can I get my assistant to get you anything? Uh, coffee, water, donuts? Don't worry. This won't take long. That Blake dude's like a freaking robot. <laughs> This office, it really represents you. Well, I like to think so. Is this you? Yeah. How old? I don't know, seven, eight, maybe. <laughs> so happy. After oh, everything you've slick. been through, I don't know how you still do it. Do what exactly? It wasn't long ago when you were the most hated man in Gotham, yet you still give so much back to the city. Why do you continue to help Gotham? Most people wouldn't be so charitable after that. Why are you here? What's that all about? My father did a lot of damage to a lot of people. I'm just trying to make things right. Thomas Wayne did cast a long, dark shadow. It must be difficult to get out from under it. What, uh... What is it you want? The agency recently brought me in to draft a psychological portrait of the Riddler. We've been tracking him for months, but haven't been able to find him. Riddler? That psycho from the news? <laughs> I thought you'd be interested, considering your history. My, uh, my history? A lot of things happened to you last year, and not all of them were good. You put yourself at risk when you helped bring in your friend, Harvey Dent. He was a violent psychotic at the time. Almost destroyed the city. Come to think of it, you've been associated with quite a few psychopaths over the years. I wouldn't go that far. I would. But criminally insane, they seem drawn to you. Either that, or you're often in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah, it's that. That's the thing. Yes, having money and fame makes you an easy target. I've had my fair share of crazies knocking on my door. Like this guy. I think you'd know him as John Doe. We understand that it was during your stay in Arkham where you and John met and became friends. From the sound of it, you two were close. <laughs> I don't like this, guys. You've got to be kidding me. He's no friend of mine. That's why you came here to ask me about that guy? According to hospital records, you and John were involved in a riot. They captured the whole incident on video. John cut another inmate, a man named Victor Zaz. Then you jumped into the fray. Several people were hurt. Yeah, but it was it was crazy, okay? I was I was trying to break up a fight. I don't blame you. You must have been scared. John was discharged from Arkham months ago. No one has seen or heard from him since. I was thinking maybe you have. Why would you think that? 
he listed you as his emergency contact. God damn it. Uh, sounds like you two were pretty close to me. Sounds like something a crazy person would do. Maybe you made an impression on him. Well, I haven't seen or heard from him, so... Did he do something wrong? He's a person of interest. You see, we've got a wall in the office with a bunch of photos pinned to it. Two-Face, Penguin, Lady Arkham, you know, Gotham's most notorious. They've got all these little strings connecting them to one another, like a web. And you, my friend, are at the center. You keep pretty strange company for someone who wants everyone to think they're such a stand-up guy. I'm sorry, are you, are you accusing me of something? Should we be? You know more than you're letting on, Mr. Wayne. Maybe you're afraid. Maybe you don't trust us. Or maybe you're a criminal, like your father. Maybe you're not the hero people think you are. I'm done with this shit. Get the hell out of my... That's an evacuation warning. It's time for you to leave. We'll pick this up another time. Oh, right. Lucius was calling. Bruce, get my daughter out of the building. Get yourself out. What are you talking... What did you figure out? I've, I've solved the Riddler's puzzle, Bruce. Uh, Riddler really pulled a good one over on us. It's a nuclear bomb! I'd still be able to disable it, but... Lucius, please tell me what's wrong. Tell Tiffany that I love her. That I'm sorry I wasn't around more. Bullshit. Lucius, we really made a difference, didn't we, Batman? Lucius! Oh. Dude. One killed and 14 injured after a tragic explosion. The GCPD is opening an investigation into what they are calling an industrial accident. Wayne Enterprises Chief Technology Officer Lucius Fox died last Tuesday in the violent blast. A small service is being held for the tech giant and father of three at Divinity Church this Sunday. Wow. Talk about unexpected. I'm a little sad. All right. I'll look out for your family, bro. You don't have to worry, Lucius. Tiffany. I'm going to take care of your family. As if they were my own. Just like Lucius took care of you. Lucius helped raise you, Bruce. It was family. Riddler's attack on the casino was one thing. But this... This is personal. We can't let him get away with it. Riddler struck at the heart of our operations. And tore a family apart in the process. Believe me, Alfred, I know how you feel. But we can't make this about revenge. Riddler is a threat to Gotham. And that's why... He has to be stopped. As long as he is stopped. Of course, it won't bring poor Lucius back. I can't imagine how devastated she must be to lose her father in such a violent way. <laughs> I should go talk to her. Yes, she can use all the support she can get. Hey, Tiffany. I still can't believe he's gone. None of this. None of this feels real. Oh, God. Mm, okay, let's do this. Your dad was like family to me. If, if there's anything I can do, anything at all, 
Please let me know. <sighs> Thanks, Bruce. I appreciate it. He loved working for you, you know? They hardly saw him at home because of it. Mom used to complain my little brother was growing up without a dad. Now I guess it's true. Oh. He was so busy. I can't remember the last time I got to hang out with him. Just father and daughter. I just thought there'd be more time. There were so many things I wanted to talk to him about. So much wisdom in that goofy head of his. I asked a lot of him. Maybe too much. And he gave it all, didn't he? A real company man. Well, I hope it was worth it. <sighs> Tiffany. I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't blame you. <laughs> well, <laughs> you kind of should. Hey, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Just let it out. I'm just trying to wrap my head around it all. I saw his remains, Bruce. Why? There, there was hardly anything left. What were you guys working on that could have caused that? It, it doesn't quite add up. Please tell me. Oh, this is I'm such a hard saying. choice. Oh, fuck. Tiffany, I will tell you soon. Just not here. What do you mean? Why not? It's not the right time. Hot, Bruce. What are you mixed up in? Fine. Just tell me one thing. That weird disc. Was that what killed him? Did you put my father's life at risk for that? I'm begging you. Just tell me that one thing. I need to know. I don't see any point in lying to her, guys. She's too smart. I thought it was safe, Tiffany. I, I really did. I had no idea Lucius could get hurt. Please forgive me. Forgive you? I hope you can forgive yourself. Oh. Whatever you got my father into, I will find out. And I will shout it to the world. I was gonna be straight with you. Oh. Sorry, really. It's, it's such a shame. At least Bullshit. he went out with a bang, right? <sighs> yeah, for that, we can all be grateful. You... you knew my father? Well, no, but judging by all the lovely people here, he must have been quite a man. Either that, or he left a lot of money. Excuse me? <laughs> <clears throat> Just saying. He seems popular. <laughs> whoa, whoa, what the heck? Seriously, Bruce? This guy's with you. I'm so sorry. I will handle this. Jeez, Bruce, that's quite a grip. Gonna leave a bruise for sure. What are you doing here? I told you I'd see you again, didn't I? You and me, we're two threads in the same stitch. Look, I, I, I got you a little something, just, just to mark the occasion. Oh. Wait, what? <laughs> okay. I knew you'd be hurting, see? I thought it might make you feel better. Think this is funny? My friend is dead. Oh, I got it wrong, get my Damn it! Hey, keep it down. 
gotta be quiet as church mice, right? <sighs> it hasn't, um... It hasn't been easy for me out here, you know? I'm the new guy now. It's the freedom that gets to you. There's so damn much you hardly know what to do with it. <laughs> it's not like Arkham. Sometimes I miss those padded walls. You knew where the lines were drawn. Which ones not to cross. How did you get out? Oh my god, did you escape? <laughs> Didn't have to. Dr. Leland signed the papers herself. She always had a soft spot for me. If everyone could please take their seats, uh, we will begin. Would you just sit down? Today we gather to honor the memory of Lucius Fox. He was a friend, a father, a husband. A leader. You are crashing my friend's funeral, John. You better have a good reason. Oh, I do. I need that, uh, favor you owe me. You know, you, you might have been a little reluctant at the time, but if it wasn't for me, you'd still be in Arkham. Sleeping off your meds in the rec room with Zaz. You're, you're gonna do right by me, aren't you? I know you're a man of your word. Oh, God. You're crazy if you think any of that matters now. Crazy's not a very nice word, Bruce. It's, it's derogatory, and Dr. Leland says that people use it as a weapon. You may be asking yourself, who? Who will comfort me now that Lucius is You see, I met some inspiring people out here, made some new friends. Made a kind of pact. They're amazing, Bruce. That special breed who live by their own rules. They remind me of you. Of your father. So who are they? You'll find out when you meet them. They're looking to bring someone like you into the fold. I, you, you will meet them for me, won't you? Please? I've, I've got a lot writing on this. I already told them you would. Please don't let me down. Uh... Gosh, John, I don't know. My schedule's just so packed these days. Please don't blow me off. Not after what we went through together. Maybe try my secretary. <sighs> Disappointing. <laughs> You know, I spoke so highly of you. I told them you'd fit right in. She just makes me want, I don't know, lash out. Shh. 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 We're here to mourn. Please, you trust me again. You'll be mourning the loss of your teeth. How dare you? Oh, easy, easy, John. Take a deep breath, okay? Calm down. You're right. Hmm. Sorry, Bruce, that outburst, it, it's antisocial, I know. Dr. Leland says I have a hard time handling rejection. I think it's the stress. You see, I've got this enemy real piece of work calls himself the Riddler how do you know the Riddler know him I want to rip his eyeballs out he's a thief and a killer and worst of all he's he's rude I tried to let the authorities know the kind of low life they're dealing with but Wait a minute, you know him too. Of course, a man of Bruce Wayne's caliber knows everyone. I shouldn't be surprised. Not your usual crowd, though. Or so I thought. 
uh, just from the news. The guy's clearly a murderer, sick in the head. Don't know the half of it. If I had my way, that smarmy know-it-all would never leave his hole. You mean his hole? You know where he is. No, no, not exactly, no. Maybe I said too much. Oh, God, guys, this is getting so insane. I don't know what to do. I'm your friend, John. You can trust me. Uh, trust is the mainstay of any healthy relationship. I want that for us, Bruce. I really do. Yeah, I, I really don't know much. I heard the egomaniac always made people go to him for meetings. Somewhere in the East End. Where in the East End? Honestly, that's all I know, and even that might be out of date. If you're so eager to find him, why don't you let me help you? I'll find out where he is and get back to you. See if I can't find out where that jerk puts his head down. It'd be just like the old days. I would appreciate that, John. That's what friends are for, Bruce. Just meet mine later. Like I ask. Look, I think I outstayed my welcome here. I'm, I'm just gonna slip away. Excuse me. Sorry. It's, uh, it's been so nice catching up, Bruce. What was that? I miss this. This trust between us. Oh. Mm, uh, oh, fuck. Uh, uh, risk it. Me too, John. Be in touch. Goodbye, Bruce. Until next time. I think I did it. Intriguing fellow. Certainly not one for decorum. I don't think that outburst went unnoticed. Uh, whatever you say about John, he gave me a lead on Riddler's location. Inform Gordon. Tell him to drag up GCPD records on Gotham's East End. And tell him we're on Riddler's trail. Son of a bitch, guys. So much has happened in the last half hour. I feel like I haven't really had time to talk. This is some really excellent writing going on. <laughs> Hard to do these days. There's one thing for the bad parts of town to get uglier, but when places like Wayne Tower start falling apart, it makes you wonder what's next. Ah, I bet Bruce Wayne is wondering the same thing. Seems like the world's got it out for that guy. <laughs> Spend some time in Arkham, gets drugged through the dirt by the media for something he didn't do. Finally picks himself up, and what happens? Someone bombs his company. Wayne has a talent for finding himself in the crosshairs. Uh, you can say that again. You said you had a lead on Riddler. Hiding somewhere in East End. Why am I not surprised? East End's been a no man's land since Harvey Dent blew it up. I've tried to get more patrols out there, but City Hall's not giving up the funds. The area between 42nd and 48th, more or less lawless. That narrows down the search at least. Hmm, okay. 43rd, 44th. We're gonna have to scan pretty much all these, I guess. Let's just start Looks over here. Like gang activities heating up along 43rd. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Hey, I get it, but we're stretched thin, I told you. Uh, Riddler's a loner. I bet he's avoiding that area. Okay. How about 44th? The land at the end of 44th was recently purchased anonymously. The only thing there is an old water tower. Hmm. Something feels fishy about that. My gut tells me that's the place. Agreed. Uh, nice work, Batman. If this lead pans out, Waller will have to eat her words. <laughs> Whatever you said to her at the casino really got up her nose. I have to tell you, I got a bad feeling about her. How so? The way she goes after criminals. She's ruthless. 
puts her people at risk. And believe me, she doesn't let due process get in her way. So stop at nothing, and I mean nothing, to get her man. It doesn't sit right with me. And I don't think she's good for Gotham. As far as law enforcement goes, Jim, you are the best of it. I don't know many cops with as much heart as you. Uh, I appreciate you saying that. Waller, she doesn't see that as a strength. I was ordered to give her updates on breaks in the Riddler case. Now that there's a chance he's there, we should probably let her know. Don't want to give her ammunition with the governor. She's already got him breathing down my neck about what went down at the casino. Okay. Notify Waller. She's proven useful so far. Just be careful around her, huh? She moved her people into my downtown precinct without so much as a please or thank you. I tell you, Batman, she keeps on chipping away at my authority. I'm gonna crack. Then let's find Riddler before it comes to that. I'll have my people call her people on the way. Riddler won't feel so clever after we come knocking. Yeah, you gotta keep it cool, Jim. You know, Waller and Batman actually have some things in common. Our methods aren't so different. We're still gonna butt heads at some point, though. I'm sure of it. I told Waller about our lead on this place. She's caught up in briefings, can't get here for a while. She said she appreciates the cooperation. Not exactly cozy, is it? Let's see what we can learn. Hmm, okay, detective time, guys. Looks like... Still can't do anything with my inventory. Hmm, all right, that's okay, though. Newspaper clippings. Someone's keeping a scrapbook. Vane, isn't he? Yeah, so it seems that he was here. Or someone wanted it set up to look like he was here. I don't know, that green light is pretty suspicious. <laughs> kind of like in the Arkham games where he just has green everywhere he's been. See no evil. Hear no evil. Speak no evil. Ever. Except monkeys can't talk, so no, it's stupid. What? God damn it! It's it's stuck. No way to open it from the inside. Then how do we get out? We go in. After you. Man, we gotta stop blundering into these traps. Good honest crack house any day. <laughs> this guy's dead. Oh God. Okay, so we can examine the head, the pockets, and the feet. So I'm gonna start from the bottom One and go shoe up. Is missing. The soul of the other one's almost completely melted through. Weird. I think we saw that other shoe on the floor, didn't we? Oh, hands. He's missing parts of his fingers on the right hand. We saw this before. The victim in the casino. Yeah, I was gonna say. It's like the same death chamber, right? <laughs> Special Agent Mario Fernandez. Holy crap. He's one of Waller's. Ooh. That's not good. Waller's gonna be pissed. Unless she already knew about this somehow. Okay. Eyes, mouth, and ear. There's some hemorrhaging from the ears. His eardrums must have burst. A high pitch type of deal. 
one of his pupils is fully dilated, the other's contracted. A clear sign of brain trauma. Huh. Well, there's no sign of a blow to the head. The man bit his tongue clean through. Oh. He must have suffered a shock or a sudden jolt. Or he was driven mad. All right, what am I missing here? Ah, phone. He was trying to call for help. The phone isn't getting a signal. Damn it. Me either. We're alone down here. That's a hell of an invitation. Riddler's playing games. Bet he tried to play along. We can learn from his mistakes. Let's find out what he did wrong. Sure about this, Batman? <laughs> All right, more inspecting to do. Here's the other shoe. One shoe, melted. Must belong to poor Cinderella over there. <laughs> Cinderella. <laughs> oh, that was good. All right, so we've got the whole linking system back. A melted shoe, we have to figure out what to link it with. Okay, let's look around for more stuff. Scratches on the monitor. The polarizing filter has been tampered with. Like in sunglasses. Monitors typically have a polarizing filter to reduce reflection. I don't see anything. Impossible to see with the naked eye. We're going to have to look at it through a polarized lens. Oh, so there's like a secret message in there then? Interesting. Stacked safes. Okay. Masks. Each one missing a different facial feature. The senses. They're missing their senses. Like the monkey statues. You're right. There must be a connection. inside and a lot of blood huh we know Riddler likes penalizing his victims for wrong answers so he's basically attacked the dude's sense of touch with the fingers his sense of hearing with the burst eardrums his sense of taste with the tongue being bitten off and his eyes were hemorrhaged as well Safes with electronic locks. <sighs> Shut tight. These must be the goal of whatever game we're playing. Okay, open safe. So, wait, what did that say? Booby trap, sharp blade inside, blood everywhere. So what can we link? Missing fingers. We're gonna link that to the safe, obviously. The agent must have been looking for the answer in one of these safes. He chose the wrong one. Cost him his fingers. Okay. That one was pretty easy. And the monitors will link that with his eyes. Can we do that? No, we really can't. We gotta look around for more stuff, guys. Cancel that. What else do we got? So we've got an agency pistol, the monkey statues, and a body cam. Okay, we're gonna save that one for last. That's an agency issue pistol. That's a hell of a jolt. I saw it take down Riddler's goons at the casino. It was impressive. Gotta give it to Waller. Her people have great tech. More monkey statues. I'm starting to sense a theme here. I wonder if that's like a subtle joke from Riddler who sees everyone as like a monkey because everyone's like inferior to him. Take you know? a look at this. Huh. Well, that's the same kind of body cam the GCPD issues its officers. Maybe there's a clue on the recording. Can't hurt to look. Be 
Because you've been so candid with me, I'm giving you a chance your other comrades won't get. A chance at getting out of this alive. We'll catch you. The agency, they'll find... I shouldn't have to remind you that you've been chasing me for years. And I've always been two steps ahead. If you win the game, I'll let you go free. And you'll get a consolation prize. An exclusive sneak peek into how I'm going to kill all of your colleagues. <laughs> now, how is that for motivation? Screw you! He had the agent bound while he beat him. Wait, didn't Gordon say there was no sign of a blow to the head? <laughs> that looked like kind of a sign to me. Ah, the death chamber. Okay. Another one of Riddler's sick contraptions. Some kind of murder box, I guess. Well, he was always a wacko, but this takes it to a new level. Well, there's a lot to look at on here. Okay, the floor. We're probably going to end up linking this to the shoe. It's still warm. There must be some kind of heating element underneath. This thing is built like an oven. You could be cooked alive in there. That is terrifying. The glass. It's polarized. So it is. Oh. So you can only see the hidden message on the monitor when you're inside the death chamber. Won't budge. It must be locked in place. Okay, and then there's another clue on here. Turn me round, but not the right way. And you might live to see another day. What does it mean? Turn it to the left? One would think. I don't know. Okay, let's link these. If this door were closed, the portal would be looking right at those monitors. Since the monitors have been tampered with, it's likely there's a message on it. One that can only be seen with a polarized lens. You won't know until you're inside the box, though. Hey, I got a hunch. Come here. No matter how careful Riddler is, chances are good he hasn't scrubbed his own computer. Good call. It's worth checking out. Okay, I wasn't done linking stuff, but sure, let's do this. Read arms dealer email, read co-worker email, and then we've also got a mobile device. Okay, let's go for the emails first. Mori, he sold technology to Riddler. When I talk about strange bedfellows, you know, Waller's been keeping pretty tight tabs on Mori for a while now. She must have known. All right, so you win from Rumi. All right, I'll take the deal just so long as you stay away from my family. You can pick up the product at the usual place. I'll remind you that I've complied with all of your requests up to this point. After this transaction, we're done. Yeah, I was wondering how the Riddler had crossed that dude, because it seems like so far he's made enemies out of Rumi, Joker, and the Agency. He's just pissing off everybody. Like, how is this dude getting around? What does it say? Riddler's not working alone. Just wonderful. More psychos to worry about. He and his colleagues. They don't see eye to eye. Apparently they don't like his beef with me. Hey, maybe we'll get lucky they'll kill each other. <laughs> that was pretty good. Uh, from H. E. For someone so smart, you sometimes act real stupid. Those resources were not for your crackpot feud with Batman. You knew that, you went ahead anyway. All you gain with your games is attention, which we really don't want right now. Stick to the plan or we'll have to make changes. So, am I supposed to know who that was from? It said, like, neighbor, didn't it? And then H? Uh, I feel like I'm missing something obvious there. I recognize some of the names on this list. They're all Waller's people. Names, addresses, phone numbers. We have to warn her. First, we have to get out of here. Okay. So... Pr 
probably done on the computer. Um, I've already looked at the desk. We can't investigate the chair. I think we've got just about everything, guys. Let's go ahead and link this stuff up. Heated floor to the shoe. The floor of the box heated up while the agent was inside. He tried standing on one foot to save the other, causing that shoe to catch on fire. When he exited the box, he tried to put the fire out, but couldn't. So he threw off his shoe. You got a VR in that cowl or something? Something like that. <laughs> I've got all the pieces of Riddler's puzzle. Now I need to know what order they happened in. How exactly do we go about that? Link the events in the correct order. Agent Fernandez woke up here after being beaten by Riddler. He saw Riddler's message on the monitors. So... What the fuck? Okay. So, obviously he started here, because that was in the video. And then... He had to go there after the chamber, and then... The safes... He guessed wrong, losing his fingers. He probably tried to answer some riddle that he saw on the monitor, which would be why he went there. So he went right from the chair to the death chamber. The agent woke up here where his body cam fell off. Once he found he couldn't call for help, he saw the message on the monitors. He willingly put himself inside the murder box. Right. That's when he saw the message and got his foot caught on fire, so he came over here and kicked his shoe off. The agent's shoe caught fire inside the murder box, so he opened it in a panic. As soon as he was out of the box, he ripped off the burning shoe and threw it. Somewhere in the confusion, he must have missed something crucial. Well, it sounds like he wasn't locked in there, but maybe he didn't twist the handle to make something happen because his foot was on fire. So that would have been when he came over to the safe then. From where he lost his shoe, the agent beeline for the wall of safes. He opened one, but chose poorly. The blade sliced off his fingers. And there he met his end. Though it's still unclear how and when his eardrums could have burst. The agent made a number of mistakes. Mistakes we can avoid. The heat inside the box forced him to run out before he could... Before he could get Riddler's next clue. Poor bastard couldn't withstand the heat. The bat suit's armor is heat resistant. It'll buy me more time to find Riddler's next clue. Oh, shit. Getting inside the box and starting the game is the only way we're getting out of here. This is insane. You know that, right? The last man who went in there is dead. There's a good chance it'll kill you too. We gotta do this together, Jim. Any mistake could be my last. I won't be able to do this without you, Jim. Well, when you put it like that, let's win this game. Turn the wheel to reveal the hidden message on the monitors. Oh, okay. So, here we go. We gotta hold this down. Why? Oh, I have to do it each time? I can't just hold down the button? It's like a goddamn oven. Thanks, I know. One won't see trouble and one tells no lies. Ask the third if he hides the prize. The monkeys. The monkeys. See no yep. evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. But which one is he referring to? Whichever one it is, the correct safe will have a face with those senses removed. Yeah, I'll check. Ah, oh, damn it. They're still locked shut. They should unlock when I open this door. Okay, get ready, Jim. Oh, I waited too long. Oh, that sucked. 
I waited too long, guys. I was trying to read the riddle. <laughs> okay. Whoa. What the hell? Oh, the sound! Congratulations. You're almost done. That is, if you can withstand my short-range ultrasonic device. Let's test it out, shall we? The riddle! Use it to open the safe! I'll put a stop to this damn noise! It's the one with the ears. The one with the ears removed. Uh, this one right here. What? It won't let me choose it. Oh, I gotta move forward. Here we go. Nice one, Jim. Oh, shit. Ugh. This one right here. I'm twisting the left stick. It's not working. What the fuck? There we go. Guys, we did it. For the love of God, whatever's in that safe better be worth all this pain. Hmm. Oh, no big deal. It's just a missile. It's a homing missile. What does it home in on? Looking at its schematics now. A signal. A radio signal. A signal. That's... That's how he died. How who died? That's how they'll all die. Riddler. Maury sold me missiles for all of my enemies. Everyone on my list gets one. Most won't even know what's coming. For a brief second, their dull existences will light up before going dark forever. I'm closing in on you, Riddler. We escaped your twisted puzzle. It's only a matter of time before I find you. Time is one thing you don't have. I'm trying to get a handle on you, Batman. Partnering with Gordon is one thing. From what I remember of the old days, he's harmless enough. Yeah, we'll see about that when you're in cuffs. But the Agency, they're a natural enemy to people like you and me. You must be desperate if you're making friends with them. You must be really up against the ropes to want that government scum in your corner. Whatever the agency is, you are worse. You're the one torturing and killing innocents. You think any of these agents are innocent? The agency uses people, Batman. Corrupts them, breaks their minds. I wasn't always like this. The agency made me. Oh, okay. this is garbage. Yeah, Waller's a hard ass, sure, but she had nothing to do with why he's so messed up. I didn't say Waller, did I? This goes way before her time. But I don't forget. That's the thing about having a mind like mine. You remember everything. Even the things you'd rather not. Whatever happened to you, it doesn't let you off the hook. You're still responsible for all the pain you've caused. You think I'm asking for mercy? I was running things in Gotham before you could walk. I just wanted to see if the man who claims he fights for justice is really as good as he believes. But then, you already answered that for me, didn't you? When you offloaded my puzzle on your friend. Why don't you tell Gordon here what happened to Lucius Fox? Watch out, Commissioner. For all his preaching, Batman knows when to sacrifice a pawn to win the game. It was a smart move. Getting out of the way of the blast. Something only a pragmatist would do. You shouldn't have said his name, Riddler. 
I'll make you pay for what happened to Lucius. That must be the guilt talking. After all, the poor man's death is on you. Look at Gordon. He doesn't know what to make of any of it. Trust is hard-earned, yet easily lost, isn't it? Come on now. Don't get your tights in a twist. I knew you weren't sharp enough to do it on purpose. There's no room at the top for schoolboys who are too squeamish to fight in the gutter. You don't have what it takes to be a player in this town. Not without giving up those values you hold so dear. Game on! Yikes, guys. I'll wait for Waller and pass on what we found. She won't be happy when she finds out Riddler knows about every agency operative in Gotham. I don't blame her. If they were my cops, no one would be sleeping till we found this Riddler guy. Just keep your eyes open, Jim. In the meantime, I'll stay on Riddler's tail. Hey, hey, hold up a sec. What Riddler said in there about the agency? Smoke and mirrors, you ask me. But the thing about Lucius Fox and the blast at Wayne Tower? You gotta level with me. You got some connection with that Wayne Tech guy you didn't tell me about? I... Gordon's gonna find out who I am eventually, right? Why bother? Lucius Fox was an ally of mine. That got him killed. I gotta say, the fact I had to learn about it from Riddler instead of you... It doesn't sit right with me at all. I thought we had some trust, you and I. What do you expect me to do with this? Am I just supposed to sit on my hands? Pretend I never heard any of it? You are your own man, Jim. You'll come to your own decision. Oh, god damn it. I mean, I wasn't born yesterday. I know you probably have a network of civilians working for you. You can't do the kinds of things you do without a gigantic support system. Well... Oh, to hell with it. I never heard what I heard in there. All right? Batman. I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> this is tough, guys. I mean, what's Gordon got to be thinking right now? Like, how long until my friendship with Batman gets me killed? I heard your discussion with Commissioner Gordon. Now he knows that Lucius Fox and the Batman are, were, allies. Gordon's dangerously close to figuring out who you are. If he does find out, I have no idea how he'll react. It's not a chance you can afford to take. He's gonna know. He looked me straight in the eye, Alfred. He's been our friend a long time. He deserves to know. I understand that, Bruce, but he's still too close for comfort. I'm sorry, but he is. You were radio silent for so long. Tell me, did you find out how Lucius died? This is a missile I found in Riddler's workshop. The explosion at Wayne Tower. We were thinking about it all wrong. The puzzle wasn't an explosive. It was an emitter. When it was solved, it emitted a signal. You heard it earlier. If allowed to play too long, it becomes a large signal. Dear God, you did solve the box. We just didn't know it. The Batcave Scrambler blocked the signal. Poor Lucius. Wayne Tower offered no such protections. Our tight little family has gotten smaller because of it. It was the three of us looking out for each other. Now it's two. We can't indulge in despair, Alfred. We simply don't have time for it. Yes, you're right, of course, Bruce. I'm sorry. 
Between the Lady Arkham affair and losing Lucius in this gruesome fashion, this war of ours is taking its toll. The list of agency operatives from Riddler's workshop. He plans to do the same thing to them. It's a hit list. It's only useful if he has a way to target the agents, though. And I doubt he's sending them all puzzle boxes. Hold on, let's just walk through it. He has their phone numbers. He can hack their phone and send the signal right through that, right? I mean, that seems obvious. Okay, includes names and phone numbers for all agency operatives. Yeah, come on. It's staring you right in the face. Got the communications grid. Okay, we're gonna link these. He's hacked their cell phones. He could pinpoint the location of any one of these operatives. You gotta call them all, tell them to throw their phones in the trash. Missile launcher, targets, devices to broadcast regular signal. What are we linking this to? Agency cell phones? Yeah, obvious. And he can broadcast his signal through their phone to make them a target of a missile strike. Pretty clever plan, I gotta say. Can you block it? If I can get a clean copy of the signal, yes. It's the only way I can get a clean version of the signal. God damn it. It's pretty grim, Alfred. You don't have to watch. I can handle it. I've never been one to shy away from duty, however unpleasant it may be. You are a rock, Alfred. I'm always able to count on you, huh? Even in the toughest times. The last thing I want to do is let you down. Bruce, get my daughter out of the building. Get yourself out. What are you talking about? What did you figure out? I've... I've solved the Riddler's puzzle, Bruce. He knew he was going to die. Oh. Can you switch to audio only, please? Tell Tiffany that I love her. That I'm sorry I wasn't around more. Lucius? We really made a difference, didn't we? Batman? Uh, I, uh, I, I, I shouldn't have watched this. I'll, uh, I'll go get that tea, Master Bruce. All right. Now I just need to create a filter to get a clean version of the signal. And then match up the points found in both sound files. You know, if Riddler had any kind of hidden camera or microphone in that thing, then he definitely knows that Bruce Wayne is Batman now, which wouldn't surprise me at all. Audio sample, audio sample. Oh, so this is Batman, Tiffany, Disable, Riddler, and Bruce. Okay, so we want to link up. These are all, no, they're not all different. Shit. Okay, I'm a little confused here. Which ones are we linking exactly? Let's just find two that match across the different spectrums here. Riddler. Bruce! Okay. So Bruce, we'll link that to... Where was it? This one, I think? Yeah. Bruce. The waveforms match. And then Enterprises... I don't think we can match all of them, though. Yeah, some of them are different. So, Wayne, was Wayne down here? Disable, Riddler, no. Tower, Tiffany. Tiffany. We can match that one. With that one, right there. Tiffany. That's a match. There. I've piggybacked under Riddler's cell phone hack. They'll recognize any incoming signal match and shut down, negating the launch. 
Makes sense for me to have the signal on me as well. What for? Riddler still has functioning missiles. Once he finds out I've blocked his targets, he may decide to launch indiscriminately. But with the signal, I might be able to divert them. Tiffany gave me this the day Lucius died. Let's put it to good work. It's not a theory I really want to test. So we had better find Riddler first. There is always Riddler's second in command. Eli Nabel, arrested after his attack on the casino. None of the authorities have gotten anything out of him yet. Unknown contact. What is it? That John guy from the funeral from Arkham. Who actually sounds like he's keeping his word. <laughs> Why is the Joker texting me? Okay. Mori, huh? John thinks that Mori can get us Riddler's location. Do you believe him? Maybe we should go back to the beginning. Bring Rumi Mori up on the back computer. Either of them could potentially lead me to him. The question is, which is more likely to help you? Huh. Well, we know that the Riddler wants to kill this guy. Nobody's been able to get this guy to talk yet, but then again, I am the fucking Batman, so maybe I could. I mean, ideally, you'd want to scope out both. I don't really know who to go for. I don't know if I want to be following the lead that Joker gave me, though. I'm really weirded out by that whole thing with him. He's written so differently from any other incarnation of Joker. Like, I have no idea how to even talk to him. <laughs> so, let's go with this guy, I guess. Riddler's lieutenant. Eli Nabel. Took a go at me in the casino. Put up quite a fight. Cracking him will be tougher. More physical. Good. Certainly a job for Batman. He's currently in Waller's custody in a GCPD holding cell. Interrogating Nabel, there would be a visible endorsement of Waller's authority. Gordon won't like it. On the other hand... Well, Gordon's just gonna have to fucking deal with it. I don't give a shit. He's a criminal. Criminals get interrogated. Maury's a businessman. Given the right incentive, he could be persuaded to talk. He sure can't have any love for Riddler after his attempted murder at the casino. I'd say he'd respond better to a more genteel approach. Peer-to-peer -peer as Bruce Wayne. However, the agency is watching him. If Waller finds out that Bruce Wayne sought a parley with Mori, she'll not be best pleased. Yeah, I don't like the idea of talking to Mori as Bruce Wayne, even a little bit. Especially if that's going to be visible to Waller. That just sounds like a terrible idea. Of course, this game keeps catching me off guard with the whole choice thing, so maybe it'll turn out differently than I expect, but I gotta follow my gut, guys. I'm going with Eli. I'll talk to Eli. It'll be nice to catch up. Tell Waller I'm on my way. This is a long episode, guys. <laughs> Haven't been keeping a timer, but I feel like I've been playing all freaking nights. I think it's definitely longer than the first episode of the first season. Shit's crazy. Oh, Batman. Gordon's in briefing the deputy ops. I'm sure I'd want to know you were here. 
Waller's agency people commandeered the whole precinct. Pretty much moved in. They give you any trouble, I'll straighten them out. Running around like they own the place. They got no respect for the way we do things. Hmm. You have Eli Nabel in custody. Take me to him. Nabel's my prisoner, not hers. Says who? Four of my agents went missing, including Agent Avesta. I don't have time for a pissing contest. Your agents are missing? We believe Riddler took them. If the body you found in his workshop is anything to go by, I... We don't have much time. Riddler warned us the last time we nearly caught him in Sudan. Said he'd hit back if we got too close. Sounds like you need my help. If it gets my people back, then sure. Riddler's lieutenant hasn't given us a damn thing. I'm hoping you'll have better luck making him talk. That's why I'm here. Come on, then. Just remember, the commissioner likes things by the book. All right, now remember, Waller, I'm the bad cop. Gordon told me you talked to Riddler in the workshop. He say anything I should know? Uh, your agency created Riddler. Did Gordon mention Luca? Um, okay. Riddler said he had a history with the agency. Claims your people broke him. Made him insane. That maniac was insane long before he came on my radar. He implied it was before your time. He can tell me all about it after Nabel gives him up. You know, I saw what you did to Carmine Falcone last year. Dangling a 60-year-old man off a high-rise was certainly effective. Hell yeah. You ask me, you could have gone further. Well... What's your point? Use any means necessary. As long as you get Nabel to tell us where Riddler is, my agent's lives are at risk. The gloves have to come off. I'll get him to talk. My way, not yours. I don't care how you do it. As long as it gets done. I mean, again, I think her way is honestly pretty similar to mine, because I ain't afraid to fuck a bitch up. I won't kill, but I'll make him eat through a straw. Meet your new interrogator, Eli. I believe you two have met before. Get up and get in that goddamn chair. Probably best to keep this off the record. Unless you prefer me to leave it on. If you're worried what Gordon might think. That's not really what I'm concerned about, but as a general rule, the less footage of Batman, the better. So yeah, leave it off. Keep it off. Need anything else? Get Eli an ambulance. <laughs> That's a great start. Call an ambulance. Eli's going to need one. Oh. <laughs> Damn, what did they do to this guy, though? They hurt you pretty bad. Yeah, they did something to him, all right. They rubbed you up pretty bad, Eli. And still you didn't crack. You're tough. I'll give you that. I'm so, so glad you're here. These people, they ain't cops. They ran the cops off. But I heard about you. You, you'll keep them, they'll keep her from killing me. Riddler said you had rules against that, against killing. Hmm, should we go in hard already? Let's try and be a little gentle, maybe. Time's running out, Eli, so don't test it. Just get me out of here. Talk, and I'll think about it. I can't! We don't have time for Karen's Batman. Only thing moving this mule is a big old stick. You get me? Yeah, but I don't like you trying to order me around. If I wanted a partner in the room, Waller, I would have asked. Fine. Just remember, we don't have time to waste. Where is he, Eli? I already said I can't tell you. And I said it a million times to the guys before. 
The only thing I'm more scared of than dying is pissing him off. You've seen his machines. He can hurt you in ways they don't got names for. Hmm. Oh, God, this is such a tough choice, guys. All right, fuck this. We're going in. The only one getting hurt tonight is you. Tell me where Riddler is. You can't beat him. He can kill any one of us anytime he wants. One phone call. All those agency guys are dead. He's talking about the signal, Bruce. He has no idea you protected the agent's phones. There's no one that can save me if I cross him. Oh, why don't we try and trick him with that? I can't do it, though. Next, we start on the legs. Hurting me does nothing. There's no getting away from him. He could be anywhere with his signal. Bruce, his fear of Riddler is too great. You have to get in his head somehow. Okay. There's nothing you can do, Batman. Yes! This is what I wanted. We're gonna bluff him with the signal, guys. This is perfect. We'll see about that. Is that? That signal! You're calling a missile right to us! You got 90 seconds, Eli. Talk. Batman, shut that thing off right now! You're, yeah! You're insane! Yeah! You'll kill us all! <laughs> it's counting down, Eli. What are you going to do about it? You're bluffing. There's cops outside this door. You're gonna get us all killed! Maybe. Maybe not. Are you willing to take the chance? This is perfect, because she thinks it's real too, guys. I'll tell you! Please, just, just make it stop! He's on a ship in Gotham Bay! What ship? Uh, the Lady of Dublin. The missiles are there too. This is where they're launched from. You're, you're crazier than he is! Damn right. Oh. Oh, god damn. <laughs> that was so perfect. The Lady of Dublin. Get back up and meet me there. Batman. Gordon's still gonna be pissed you went around him. But I appreciate you holding back. Yeah, well. Gordon's a big boy. He'll get over it. Carefully make our way out. See what, this is all in what am I looking at here? We found him. Really you Your interrogation of Riddler's you man know. produced solid intelligence. No sight of the missiles yet, though. They must be here somewhere. Your idiot colleagues too. Okay, so he's got what? At least three people in death chambers there? The agency has a history of terrible so decisions. even though they're kind of assholes, we should probably save them. Hostages. They appear to be more of Waller's agents. Agents of Vesta and Blake are likely among them. 
based on what Waller told us. Even if you're really just a small part of my plan, are you talking a good spot for cover? See what I mean soon. Okay. Well, I think that's pretty much our only play here, so let's go. I understand why they'll recognize my brilliance. <laughs> After all, I am uniquely qualified to see the big picture. Oh. Oh, that was. A struggle. Okay, that was a little jank right there, but I think we're good. You think? I'm sure you can understand. I get Wait for it. it. Sometimes my methods can appear a little unorthodox. Look at guard. Don't want him raising an alarm. I'll move when he isn't looking. Okay. What am I doing? Just moving to the right? Okay, now. Oh. No. I'm moving up to him. No. I can't move, guys. <laughs> oh, it's like this. Okay. I never quite know how these scenarios are going to play out. Careful. I know. That was too fucking close. Jesus. You brought this on yourselves. All of you. You government clods really thought you were smarter than- It's clear you're in desperate need of some schooling. My friends will be here soon. I'd keep your mouths shut until then. Hostages first. When they're safe, I can find the missiles. Targeting online now. Ready, Bruce. Here we go! That's 4 for 4 right there. Let the hostages go, Riddler. You can't possibly think clunking a few heads is enough to make me roll over. <laughs> yeah. Oversized vermin. There you go. Knock that bitch Nothing. out. Agent Avesta. The floor. It's heating up. Okay, which way do we turn? We gotta go this way. Thanks, Batman. Hi. Whoa! Are you alright? Clever girl. I've memorized your playbook, Batman. I know all your shallow tricks. Poor Eli held out longer than I expected, but I knew he'd give me up eventually. All part of the plan. The missiles. Bait. Just like the hostages were bait. I knew you couldn't bear to let these agents die. <laughs> you care too much about the little people. That makes you weak. I saw how you saved Maury. I saw how angry you got about what happened to Fox. Don't think my compassion means I won't hurt you. Don't think I won't beat you within an inch of your life. Hard to do that when you're in a cage. Even harder when you're dead. My partners were supposed to be here to see this. I guess I can just show them the bodies. I'm going to ask you three questions. Get them wrong, one of these agents gets torn apart. You won't get away with this. You get them right? This happens! I designed this for you, Batman. Gotham's 
champion of justice will die in an unfair puzzle. Let's get started. We have a lot to get through. I'm curious to see how you'll handle it all! It's me you want, not Agent Avesta. Let her go! Oh no, she needs to be in there with you. You can handle the sonic blasts, but her... I estimate three blasts at most before her insides rupture. This one should be easy, Batman. Close to the heart. I solved a puzzle box for the Bat. Now I'm dead. And I mean dismembered. Closed casket for sure kind of dead. Who am I? If you know the answer, please say it. My colleagues will die Speak otherwise. Speak up, Batman. Which one of your dead friends am I? Need a hint? Starts with the letters L and F. There are no good options here, guys. Well, who am I? Lucius. What was that? I couldn't hear you. Lucius Fox. Very good, Batman. You saved a life. But... Thank you. Batman, don't answer any more of his questions. No, Blake. I won't let you die. Number two. Also completely self-evident. I am black and blue and bleeding from the ears. Who am I? I think... I think he means me. No shit. Say it. Don't you dare answer that! Please, don't let him die. Say it! I need an answer. Oh, what the fuck, or guys? Click, click, click! Avesta. The answer is Agent Avesta. You got it, Batman! <laughs> Here's your prize! Oh my god! Iman! What have you done? Enough, Riddler. You made your point. Just one more, Batman. And then it'll all be over. I'll distract him. Just get us out of here. Okay. I'm the sharpest mind you'll ever meet. The original genius with Gotham at my feet. Who am I? You're Riddler. Riddler's the genius. Well done, Agent. You answered so quickly, you almost deserve not to get the blast. What is going on? Oh, oh, missile array link to this? I'll fire one of the missiles. Okay. At uh, the bat. Wait, what? Capable of playing back audio. You're Come much too break. slow, Batman. Oh, fuck. I think we're through. <sighs> okay, that's a fail state. <laughs> I was trying to read things, goddammit! Okay, I'm not sure how this is gonna go, guys, but we'll just blow through it. I feel like shooting one of these missiles is gonna kill everybody in here. I'll fire one of the missiles. But, apparently not. <laughs> so we'll send it to the top of the cage. Use the bad cam to make it target the cage. Link the death chamber to... I think use Riddler's trap to protect Iman and myself from the explosion. Oh, clever. I like what you're saying, Agent Avesta, but you're not the one I need to hear it from. Missile armed, ready to fire. Who's the genius, Batman? Who's on top of Gotham now? I want to hear it from you. <laughs> I am. What are you doing? Launch! No, 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 
no! You're clever, don't you? You... you don't impress me. You might have bought yourself some time with that trick. Shut him up! the man who's got no time left. The Riddler. Thought you'd get such an easy one right. Those missiles are aimed right at the city. The answer is Batman. <laughs> Send it straight up into the sky. Yup. That's right, motherfucker. Watches your missiles fall impotently into the water. This can't be happening! Soccer kick or anchor punch? Soccer kick it is, guys. Damn it! I took too long again! <laughs> oh, I hate this. <laughs> he totally deserved that. God, I, I didn't think, I didn't think we were going to make it. I, I thought. You put yourself on the line for your friends. You saved them. Agent, are you okay? Oh, she's not going to make it. My ears, I can't hear. Oh, she went deaf. Embracer. Uh, okay. It's over, Riddler. Look forward to a padded cell. Well. Congratulations, Batman. You managed even in my twisted game to keep everyone alive. But at what cost? Agent Investus suffered. So no one had to die. That can't sit well with you. Can it? Mm. Must be an uncomfortable feeling. This entire twisted situation is your doing, Riddler. All blame is on you, and so are the consequences. You came after me, you know, not the other way around. I made you hurt an innocent woman to get to me. <laughs> oh, my comrades would have been impressed. I set this all up to show them. I thought they'd back me up, even if they didn't agree. They... They left me here to deal with you alone. They... 
They betrayed me. They didn't come. You need better friends. <laughs> the term thick as thieves. It's a lie. I need smarter friends. They're all so small-minded. None of them had vision. Unless... Unless that white-faced prick set me up. Never told them to meet me here. What? <laughs> Joker double cross them guys. Lock the ship down. And radio for more medics. But Riddler, is he Oh, god damn it. I hope it was worth it, Batman. Worth it. Riddler's a damn corpse. We got an agent bleeding from the years. We're not getting a shred of usable testimony out of Eli Naval. Not after you beat him half to death in my custody. You went behind my back with Waller and buried the investigation in the process. This... This is beyond the goddamn pale. What were you thinking? How could you undermine me like that? Stopping Riddler saved lives, Gordon. Everything I did was a means to an end. Leaving me to clean up a lawsuit in a PR mess. The trust between us, it's gone. Fuck. Our partnership is over. Oh. No more sharing evidence. No more squad car backup. The GCPD can't support you anymore. You're being unreasonable, Gordon. You need my help protecting Gotham. If what happened at the precinct is protecting Gotham, I want no part of it. Oh. I just want to know how we got to such a messed up place. You're supposed to be the one with the answers, Commissioner. Way I see it, Batman took initiative getting a confession from Mabel. You, on the other hand, Gordon, well, you've been two steps behind Riddler from the start. That is not fair. This mess here? That's on you. Batman's had his priorities straight, but you... Now, wait a damn minute. You're stonewalling the agency has screwed us all. You think you could have done better? Way I see it. There's one less bad guy in Gotham. I don't know whether I could have done better. I do know you could have. If we'd have been working together from the start. Why, you... Not another word, Commissioner. Consider it a kindness I don't just straight up get you demoted. Now leave us alone. We have sensitive case details to discuss. <laughs> you two deserve each other. Oh. Oh, Gordon, oh. This city is about to find itself in a crisis the likes of which it's never known. Riddler had a crew. Not just any crew. The worst criminal minds from all over the world, here in Gotham. You come across anything about them? I'm assuming you've heard of them by now. Yeah. Let me know if you have anything to share. Riddler expected his friends to back him up tonight. Guess he wasn't as popular as he thought. That fits a theory we have. Evidence from his workshop suggests he was involved in a feud with another member of the group. Dr. Harleen Quinzel. Oh! Former psychiatrist at Arkham Asylum. She's very elusive. Keeps her head down. Much more so than that show-off Riddler. He was going to be my way in once we captured him alive. But now I have you to lean on. A man who lives on both sides of the line. 
and knows exactly when to cross it. Yes, you and I will be working together very closely. Bruce Wayne. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me at all. <laughs> oh, jeez. So much just happened, guys. Riddle me this. Well, okay, let's see. You and 28.4% of players left Gordon feeling betrayed. He appreciated you backing him up in front of Waller. He was suspicious that you refused to talk about Lucius. He feels betrayed because you went behind his back. I didn't refuse. I told him the first fucking chance the game gave me. That pisses me off. Ugh, I don't like that. You and 40.4% of players helped John to become hopeful. At the funeral, he was hurt when you dragged him away. He was frustrated with himself when you didn't like his card. Even though you didn't agree to meet his friends, he's hopeful that you'll come around. That whole thing is so weird. I have no idea how that's going to play out or like how I should be interacting with him. It's so different. It's fun, though. You and 83.5% of players saw Alfred become vengeful. He was proud when you thought of Gotham before yourself. Showing him the video of Lucius being killed filled him with vengeance. He did not approve of your merciful interrogation of Eli. Really? I thought... He was... Mm, okay, sure. You and 88.6% of players left Tiffany furious. She was thrilled when you told her she could help uh, with the puzzle box. At the funeral, she was consoled when you expressed your concern for her. But because you told her the truth about endangering Lucius, she now feels betrayed. Yeah, that's the most interesting part of this whole episode for me. I wanted to talk about that more. Let's see. You and 31.4% of players forged a relationship with Waller that was collaborative. She was not happy when you defended Gordon. She did not approve of your merciful interrogation of Eli, but because you decided to go to her instead of Gordon, she is looking forward to working with you. Why would you not approve of my interrogation? It fucking worked. I did it perfectly. And everybody's like, no, oh, you do it right. Uh, fuck all y'all. You and 59.3% of players left Iman traumatized. <laughs> Why am I getting the blame for all this shit, guys? She was impressed that you stood up to Waller. She appreciated your honest answers to her, question, her questions. She is traumatized by the torture she endured at the hands of the Riddler. But she's alive, along with all her friends, which is what she told me to do, by the way. I left her traumatized. Eat shit, okay? Eat my shit. This is pissing me off. What did you tell Tiffany about Lucius' death? We told her that we were involved, which I thought was the right thing to do at the time. Uh, what did you tell Gordon about your connection to Lucius? Uh, me and 86.8% of players confessed to Gordon that he was an ally. Looks like so far I'm pretty much in the majority. Did you choose to visit Mori or Eli? Only 31.2% of players chose to interrogate Eli. Okay, wonder why people chose to go with Mori. I'm really curious about that. Me and 84.3% of players bluffed Eli with the signal, because that was the right fucking play. Okay? God damn it. Did you save Iman or the agents? Me and 84.3% of players sacrificed Iman in order to save the other agents. We didn't sacrifice her! She's alive! Get a fucking hearing aid! Oh my god. Yeah, I was mostly in the huge majority there, guys. Just, uh, I differed on who I chose to interrogate. But yeah, not bad. Not too bad, I suppose. Okay. I already have the season pass. Why would you tell me to do that? <laughs> Let's see if there's an epilogue or anything. Updating content. Looks like that's it for episode one, guys. Wow, that was crazy. So a lot really happened there. And I feel like uh, I'm a little disappointed that the Riddler's dead already because he was a really cool villain in this game. Like, he was a little bit more sinister, a little bit more sadistic than I usually see him characterized. Like, in the Arkham games, he's really a wanker. And he didn't really have that quality in this game. I feel like there was a lot more to his character. Like, why did he come back all of a sudden? Why is he an older guy? What is all his connections to these people that he's trying to kill? I'm just really surprised that he's gone. I feel like there was a lot more story to tell with him. But man, so... I was a little afraid that I went in too deep with Tiffany when she first showed up. 
because she showed up, and at first I'm just like, oh, she's a chip off the old block. She's smart just like Lucius, you know? And then it became apparent really quickly that she was actually even smarter than Lucius was. And I was like, man, if we had, like, the father-daughter combo helping me out as Batman, that would be awesome. So, like, I went in hard on it. And it was almost, like, like a trick. Like, the writing tricked me, man, because it seemed like the right thing to do at the time. And then all of a sudden, everything went horribly, horribly wrong. And then even when I told her the truth about Lucius, and I was like, she'll understand maybe if I tell her that I'm Batman, and he was trying to help me, like, save Gotham, like, she'll be like, well, at least my dad died for a really good cause, but... It didn't let me do that, and she hates me now. <laughs> so I hope that I can get her to come around and kind of change her mind eventually. I'm sure she's not done in the story yet. Um, man, there's so much. I really, really think that this game had fantastic writing. I'm super, super excited about what comes next. The only thing that really pissed me off was like the characterization of some of the choices I made at the end there, but that's not really the fault of the writing. In a way, it is. I don't like that I'm getting all snuggly with... Uh, Amanda Waller. I like Gordon a lot more, and I feel like the writing was kind of engineered to kind of shove a wedge in between us, and I'm not sure I'm going to like how that plays out. I'm going to try and stay close to Gordon, and like, I'll work with Waller, but I don't want to get buddy-buddy with her, because I don't think she is trustworthy in the long run in the way that Gordon is, but man, it seems like the writing in this game really, really wanted to break up me and Gordon, so that's going to be a thing going forward, I guess. <laughs> Other than that, guys, I'm just really looking forward to the next episode. I'll be sure and play it as soon as it comes out here on my channel. I like to do these all in one go. So to that note, I'm pretty sure this is the longest video I have ever made. Uh, with that in mind, I would really appreciate it if you liked the video. It would help me out. And uh, just thanks for watching, guys. If you stuck around this song, that's awesome. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed. This is Batman The Telltale Series Season 2. And I will catch you guys when episode two comes out. Probably in like a month or two is the schedule they usually keep. I don't know for sure yet, but check it out on my channel when it comes out. Thanks, guys. See you next time.